Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Uh, there is Mary Weddington. Let's see, there is Miss Denise. Who else have I got on here? Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody doing this Wednesday? This Wednesday, it's kind of cloudy outside, kind of windy. Looks like we got some storms coming. Miss Mary, thank you for hitting that share button for us. When you get on this morning, go ahead and say howdy. Let me know who is here. Let me know who in the building. Who is in the building? Hi, Jenny Hanner. How in the world are you doing, lady? Good to see you, Jenny. Jenny, how's things in the big metropolis of Wynn, Arkansas this morning? How are you doing? Hey, if you want to kind of share the love, go ahead and hit that share button that puts it out on your page as well. Miss Mary is sending it over to our group and I so, so appreciate that. So right there in the comments, let me know what you're doing. Let me know how you're doing. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Hey, anybody, uh, any, anybody have an idea? Besides Mary Weddington, where I am this morning. Miss Mary, you cannot answer this question. So where am I this morning? Kind of give you guys a few thoughts and, and uh, let you think about it for a minute. Anybody got an idea as to where I am this morning? Other than in the church building, that's not an answer. Where am I this morning? Oh yeah, we get the crowd on now. Good morning, everybody. So glad you're here. Gonna hang out for a little bit, let our folks get in. We're gonna be chatting a little bit. We're gonna be back in John chapter four today. If you have your Bibles and you want to uh, follow along with me, we're going to continue where we left off yesterday. John chapter four, Nee says, me, me, me. Good morning, Nisi Poo. I see, I think I see Miss Denny kicking in the booth. Good morning, Miss Denny. Good morning, good morning. Judy Davis, Judy Davis. Ding, 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 ding. Yep, she has figured it out. Okay, let me just kind of, kind of, uh, kind of give you guys a real quick tour as to where we are. Let me kind of loosen some things up a little bit. Let me see here. We're just gonna kind of slowly move around. So if you're in this class, do you see your chair? Do you see where you normally sit? Yeah. Yeah, good old Sunday school. Lord willing, won't be long. We'll be back up in here. We'll be back up in here. So, hey, let me see here. And boom. Good morning. Oh, it's good to see y'all. Uh, lots of folks uh, kicking in. Hey, uh, when you get on, go ahead and say hello to me. Let me know who all is here. I think I see Miss Sandy is here. Uh, good to see Miss Sandy. Yeah, there she is. Good to see you, sweet lady. Hey, we're just uh, we're hanging out this morning in uh, Brother Norval's Sunday school classroom. 
Uh, just wanted to uh, kind of bring us in here a little bit this morning. Oh, I've got a sneeze, so when this thing comes on, don't jump out of your chair, okay? And don't drop your phone. Hold on. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'll have to uh, de defumigate the room here just a little bit. Uh, hey, we are in uh, Brother Normal's Sunday School class this morning. And uh, what I want to do specifically today is I want us to focus on the, those that actually attend Brother Norval's Sunday School class. And, and I would encourage you today that you would uh, remember these fine folks in prayer today. If you know who all is in your class, I know, uh, let's say, Miss Judy is in here. And uh, 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 Miss Mary is in here. Uh, lots of folks attend this Sunday School class. And so here's, here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do. Uh, if, if this is your Sunday school class, I would like for you to contact the others in your Sunday school class today. All right, just to kind of reach out, just to say hello, see how you're doing. Uh, we know that Brother Norval and Miss Faye are not on uh, social media. And so maybe give them a call. Get, just shoot them a text real quick just to say, hey, thinking about you, loving on you. Uh, but we want to specifically focus on Brother Norval and Miss Faye and those in this Sunday school class today in our prayer time. And if you will do that with me, uh, I sure would appreciate it. Hey, it is a uh, kind of a, a cloudy day here in the Delta this morning. I've been outside doing some uh, little projects along. And uh, just got back in, and uh, you know, when you get out and there's no break, the wind's kind of kind of uh, nippy out there, definitely kind of uh, moist, so you know there's some storms that's coming in, so I want you guys to be careful today, and uh, uh, just to make sure that you're safe. Yeah, that's right, Frida is not on Facebook, so give that lady a call, okay? Yeah, anybody that is not on Facebook, uh, give them a call, okay? Call them, text them, do whatever it takes, just I want you to reach out to those that are in this specific Sunday school class, okay? Uh, hey, tonight, uh, tonight uh, is going to be our Wednesday night Bible study. It's going to be right here, Facebook Live at 6.30. We are going to be in Exodus chapter 15. Uh, really hope that, uh, that you can join us. We're going to have a good time tonight. I, I love the book of Exodus. I love the story. And so we're going to try to bring uh, the, let me, let me just kind of jump over there real quick and see what we're going to be covering tonight. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to wrap up chapter 14, uh, just the last couple of verses, and then uh, we're actually going to look at what is called the Song of Moses tonight. The Song of Moses, that's going to be the first several verses in chapter 15. So, uh, uh, good, good time. We're looking forward to you. That'll be tonight, starting at 6.30. I definitely want you to uh, please, please, please be, uh, be with me as we uh, kind of back up and uh, I have a chat at that. Uh, we had a great time last night on our virtual Sunday school on Zoom last night. We had 13 folks in class. It was just, it was amazing. And so uh, I was very, very excited to see everybody. Uh, I do not know who Inez is, but I'm going to say hello to Inez. I am so glad that you are here, lady. Uh, thank you for joining us here at Ridgewood Live this morning. As We're just grabbing a quick cup of coffee. Going to uh, read some scriptures here in just a minute. I mean, hey, it's got to be time for coffee, right? Mm. Miss Inez, where are you watching from? If you'll just kind of share it with us there uh, in uh, in the comment section, we will pray for you, Miss Judy. I see you. I need all your prayers. Absolutely. We definitely will pray. Uh, lots of things uh, going on in our town today. Uh, just uh, I've seen a whole lot of activity, so uh, I'll be safe if you do happen to get out. Uh, remember social distancing. Wear your mask uh, if you have those. Uh, I have gotten out where uh, I wear a mask a lot. When, uh, when I do get out in public. So I would encourage you to do the same thing. Thanks to uh, Miss Mary and Miss Pam. They're the ones who are uh, taking care of all of our mask needs. Uh, let me just say this. We have mailed out tons, tons of masks all across this country. And so this has turned out to be a very, very monumental uh, ministry uh, here out of Ridgewood during this quarantine time. Uh, Mary Weston Soup Kitchen and Connection Point Church. Okay, you met Bill and Inez at Soup Kitchen. Ah, okay. Okay, well, hello there, Bill and Inez at Soup Kitchen. I, I can't put a face to you, but that's okay. Uh, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, hey, John, chapter four. We're gonna pick up the story uh, yesterday. If you remember, if you remember when we left, the, the woman at the well had gone back into her town and had talked to the men. And she had brought 
uh, the men back out to meet who she was asking, could this be the Messiah? And so, uh, you know, here they go. They, they go out and they meet him. And this is where, uh, where we left off yesterday. Jesus had, uh, I had shared with the disciples. He said, you know, behold, uh, he said, I say to you, lift up your eyes and look at the fields for they are already white for harvest. And so this was, this was yesterday. This was our, our text yesterday. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the, the very back side of this. This is starting at verse 39 and we're going to read verse 39 through 45. And so we'll just kind of hang out with, hey, and then there's my buddy, Mr. Robert Phillips from Hot Springs, Arkansas. So good to see you. Uh, my buddy, Mr. Robert, Marianne Carter is hanging out with us. Uh, Sarah Schick is with us. Sarah Schick is all the way up in Northern Ohio. Good morning, Sarah. It is your birthday. Happy birthday to Sarah Schick. Uh, glad you're hanging out with me today, lady. Hug those, those girls for me, okay? I miss those girls like crazy. Okay, verse 39, chapter four, if you're going to follow along. Now remember, got to remember, the, 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 the men and, and the, the lady had just come back out. Okay, to the woman at the well. Okay, verse 39. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified, he told me all that I ever did. Now, folks, if that is not one of the most powerful evangelistic passages in scripture, I don't really know what is. And so just to, just to kind of bring us back up to where, to where we are, let, let's remember that this is a woman who uh, did not have a good reputation. This is a woman who had been married not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, but married five times and was currently sleeping with another man. And so she was definitely known around town. And for her to go back and to share this testimony with the men that was in the town, A, was a humbling experience for her without question. And then she goes back, she literally testifies, could, you, could this be the Christ? We need to find out. And then they all come back based on her invitation, okay? Her invitation. And so they go back out now. They're talking to Jesus. The disciples had come back. Verse 39, and many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. He told me all that I ever did. Folks, let me just tell you something right now. That's all it takes to tell somebody about Jesus. All it took was this woman testifying about what she had experienced to the people that she knew and that she cared about, and she took them to Jesus. That's evangelism at the rawest point. And that's what we have got to be about as believers. We have the greatest gift ever, and that is salvation from Jesus Christ. And we have to take that good news, very simplistic, to the world. And for her to do that and to see the results, and many, we don't know how uh, what the quantity of the word many was. I mean, it could have been five. It could have been 50. We don't know. We just know that there was a bunch. And many of the Samaritans, and these are the ones that the Jews didn't want to have anything to do with. You remember that? It's a story in and of itself. And so because, because one woman was willing to risk her pride, she, she kicked her pride out, and she humbled herself to talk to the men. And they believed. And I think it's safe to say that because the men believed that they in turn would lead their families to Christ as well. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified, he told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans had come to him, get this y'all, they urged him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days, verse 41, and many more believed because of his own word. Oh my goodness, there is a revival taking place right here in the city of Sychar of Samaria because one woman encountered the Christ and she told everybody. Verse 42, then they said to the woman, now we believe not because of what you said, for we ourselves have heard him, and we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Folks, it is about one person planting, 
one person reaping, one person plants, one waters, one weeps. That's why we're all in a team here about sharing the gospel. You tell somebody about Jesus. It might be the first time they've ever heard. You tell somebody about Jesus. It might be the second or third time they've heard, okay? And so you just never know where they are in their journey with Christ. And so we have to be faithful to tell others about Jesus. Many believed on his word. Verse 43, verse 43. Now, after the two days, remember he stayed with them for two days. After the two days, he departed from there and he went to Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. Verse 45. So when he came to Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things he did in Jerusalem at the feast, for they also had gone to the feast. So they were firsthand witnesses of the power of God. They saw what he done. They heard what he taught. And so because of their encounter, many, many more believed they received him. Powerful passages of scripture this morning uh, coming out of John chapter four. I would encourage you to really dive deep into that this week and to study a little bit more on that. I hope you're enjoying reading through John. It's, it's one of my absolute favorite books in all of scripture. Uh, we just get to see this, this uh, personal I view account of Jesus. And uh, uh, we, we see it on, 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 a, uh, on a more intimate level because it's John's writing. And we know John was, uh, and I've used this phrase, John was literally in Jesus's hip pocket. Because everywhere Jesus went, we see John. And so it's just fun and fun to watch that. Okay, John 4, 39 through 45. Uh, tell somebody about Jesus. If you don't get anything else out of this, the power of your testimony is invaluable. The power of your testimony, it's priceless. You can't put a price tag on it because somebody's life is on the line based on your testimony and what you will or will not tell. And so I just want to encourage you to always be ready to share the gospel, whether you do it over the telephone, whether you do it in text, um, whether you do it uh, on Facebook, whether you tell somebody in person, it just doesn't matter. It's about telling others about Christ. Hey, I'm gonna get out of here today. Um, I, I love you guys tons. I do, I miss you like mad. Uh, if there's anything that I can do for you, please let me know. Tonight, tonight at 6.30 right here uh, on Facebook Live, I want to encourage you to join me again as we dive into the, the backside of chapter 14 of Exodus and we start looking at the Song of Moses in chapter 15. Very, very powerful uh, text as we see the uh, deliverance of the children of Israel through the Red Sea. I think that's all I've got for now. Folks, I love you guys so very much, so very much. Thank you all for, for joining me each and every day uh, as we just kind of grab a cup of coffee, just chat for a little bit and read some scripture. Tell somebody and invite them to join us tomorrow morning at the exact same time. Folks, I'm out of here. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.